Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Monday, February 5th, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. You know I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyway. And it's a timeless read. Whenever you come across this reading, that's that's the time that you need to see it. You know what I mean? Um, if this is your reading, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So um, if you need to switch the genders and the roles, go right ahead. That's not a problem. Just remember, it is a general collective reading. Not every reading is going to be for you. There are thousands of people here. Uh, and I hope thousands more are coming in. Uh, <laughs> But, um, and not all of it will resonate, okay? It's, it's very rare that all of it will resonate. So the parts that don't resonate with you and your storyline, that just means it belongs to someone else. Leave it alone, please, okay? It's not advisable to try to fit it into your storyline. It's just going to wreak havoc. Um, I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know, your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some one end or none, like I said. And then we bring it together at the end. If you wouldn't mind, please do me a solid. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you know when I upload, I don't do that set times, as you know. I'd be truly, truly, truly grateful if you did. And for those who have, thank you so very much please, for sticking by me, for all the love you show me, um, the support. It means the world to me. Uh, I think it was Charlene, before I forget. Charlene, thank you for your donation uh, through PayPal. That was very kind of you. May you be blessed in all ways. Um, I truly appreciate your donations. And let's see. I do have a message, by the way. Oh, and by the way, for that wing knot that tried to tell me that God was the devil. Um, <laughs> oh, anyways, please. Okay, read your Bible. Some Bible pump in person, they claim to be, but they get in my comment section and they write inane, insane things like that. Um, go, go elsewhere. You're going to have to anyways. You've been blocked. So anyways, I'm not taking any shit anymore, okay? Not, not that I really did before, but that kind of stuff, you know, you want to say stuff like that about the Most High, God, the one and only my father, your father, the one that you're going to turn to when things go really bad in your life. You know what? You better watch what you're saying. So I do have a message, and this is for, this is personal, for certain people out there that um, just don't want to give up. Those spying and trying to get information about me on the sly, you're not that sly, okay? You continually do this, you do it, continually doing this tells me that you're not paying attention to your own life. That's not good. That was a bad move because shit's about to get real. You think you're bad, things are bad now. That was just a little taste, okay? The real stuff and the fun is about to begin. Karma's real, folks. For every indignity they tried to visit on me, everything they stole, drained, usurped, blocked, binded, stole, and denied me is now in their backyard. So they should be paying attention to what's in their backyard, not in mine. Okay, all those lies and slander is seen as exactly that. All that magic you directed towards me constantly is now yours. Okay, remember you are the author of your own demise. I told you, the divine is not playing. That's for a few people out there. Sorry you had to hear that, but it needs to be said. I think they're sly. Can't be slyer than father. Let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. What's the message for today? Woo. Two of them came out. So we have new beginnings. The fool. Zero. So it's a reset. Maybe you're starting over somewhere else, doing something new. You're taking a huge leap of faith, and it's working for you. Okay? You could be traveling because she's standing on the, on the world here. Um... You have the, the world in the palm of your hands. You're moving forward. You are innocent. And I'm not saying you're naive. You have a, a, a pure heart. Um, something exciting. Start certain new. It's a reset. Okay? Maybe it's the times. Things are resetting. Oh, boy. Or somebody might be feeling you like a fool. They think they're going to start over with you. Because this came out in the reverse. There's been some untruths here. Maybe you're innocent because people are finding out people lied about you. Spread gossip, slander, defamation of character. It wasn't balanced. These these are scales, right? It wasn't balanced what they did to you. 
they don't want to tell you the truth. 20. They're past judgment. This is karma time. Like my, like my message, it's karma. Okay, you thought you were going through a rough time for these evildoers. That's, that's just a little taste. Karma's here, okay? Poor decision-making here, okay? They judged you harshly. They wanted everybody to judge you harshly, and you had a pure heart. You had good intentions. You were here for a reason. We all are. We're supposed to be. But these people don't want to take accountability. It's a lack of awareness and acceptance. They can't accept that you are who you are. Why? Because they want to be that? They didn't put the work in. Oh, that reminds me. There's another message, too. They're getting karma. 20 in reverse. That's judgment in reverse. Judgment's gone against them. Yeah, they don't. They're, they, they, their crown chakra is not open. They, they don't have the same gifts you do. And they're jealous. The jelly jelly. Okay. Maybe they had a connection with, with Source at one point, and it's been, Source has turned his back. Father's turned his back on these, fear, uh, these ignorant people. Anyways, the other message before I forget. Spirit is amused at the sheer audacity of those claiming they are a divine being here on a special mission for God. So they're going to challenge that. They will get you through your, they will put you through your paces, pardon me, test you and your abilities in various challenges. And trust me when I say it won't be pretty. But if you are who you who and what you say you are, you will get through it. Absolutely alone. No help from anyone. And with grace and gratitude. Such as illness, poverty, abuse, homelessness, persecution, ridicule, death of ego, loss of everyone you know and love in one way or another. They're going to turn on you. Okay. So why is this happening? Because... There's a lot of fakes out there with big egos who haven't done any work on themselves, let alone for humanity. And it's an affront to those who have. Those who need guidance in a safe place and help need to know the real from the fake. Keep your receipts, okay? Because when you're the other, put you put, put you through your ego, okay? They're going to make you have a death of your ego here. They're going to put you through your paces. So keep the receipts. The world will want to see them, Okay? What have you done? What have you gone through? What have you learned? What is uh, your mes mission? Oh, boy. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Anyways, <laughs> solitude in reverse. So if you're a person that cannot be alone and you have a lot of friends and you like to date, well, I don't think you're in service, right? You're not a, a, a divine being at all. You're supposed to be alone. If you have a direct connection with source and spirit, you can't have other energies around you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a lonely path, but it's a very rewarding path. Um, those on the path know. Okay? We know the fakes from the real. Sometimes I see it on YouTube and the rest of the world as well. I'm talking about religious leaders. I'm talking about um, just fake, phony people. They're doing it, calling it in. It's all about money and ego. They want people to follow them, you know? <laughs> Well, and this is the time of karma. New beginning, zero. It's a reset, right? Congratulations. We're, we're, we're undoing all the untruths here, okay? We're bringing the truth. And people don't like it. Sometimes it's disturbing the truth. It is. I'm going to admit it. Because we've been lied to. Not, throughout, not just throughout our whole lives, but throughout history. And why? It's because power and control. Who are you really? Where do you come from? Why are you here? They lie. Okay? So new beginnings. Narcissists. Someone is too full of themselves. Told you. They're going to look like a fool now. I remember not too long ago. Because they were throwing things my way. And didn't bother me. I just kind of walked around their little um, detour. You know little detour it wasn't a big deal and I remember I heard one say you're making me look like a fool no I didn't make you look like a fool you made yourself look like a fool it's an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius or you are they put love spells on you you've been bewitched they're spying to see if it takes someone's got their eye on you you are doing your research I told you they were spying my first message you, they want to come back to you Mercury retrograde <laughs> they're trying to manifest you back into their world you could be a fire sign or they are. Take it as a blast. Somebody you left behind doesn't have to be a divorce. Could be a breakup. Could be both. Take it as a blast. I don't know. 
Maybe they they just got out of a relationship and they think, oh, I'm going to go back to the old familiar. Somebody that really treated me well and I can treat like shit. Make me feel better after a divorce. Ain't going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen. Hell no. So we have new beginnings. And a narcissist. What's the message for two spirit? Thank you. Pearl, hidden gem. So you were a hidden gem. They didn't really uh, appreciate you when they were in your orbit, in your energy. You have pearls of wisdom as well. And the old saying, and I keep forgetting to look it up. Damn. Um, don't throw, don't cast pearls before swines. You're too good for these people. Peacock, yeah, they're, they want to show off. There's something to do with a pregnancy and well, somebody traps somebody in a relationship for money or it doesn't have to be a pregnancy pregnancy. Maybe they want to get into business with you or they're trapped somehow. Uh, maybe you're out in the public eye. They want to be out in the public eye. They want to show off. Go away. Spirituality isn't about showing off, okay? You're doing work here. Someone's old woman, sadness and female. They want you to act like this. They want you to grow old, sad, and alone. Ain't going to happen either. Turtle. Slowness and protection. <laughs> Somebody's very slow. Oh, my God. They're not getting the message. You are highly protected. Okay? Shark. Survival and power. They don't know how you survive. They don't know where your power comes from. They're trying to surround you. They're trying to find out. You are of the light. That's where your power comes from. From God. Whale, wisdom keeper, you're so wise. It's not unbelievable. They can't, yeah, you're dealing with witches and warlocks, magic and curse. They tried to curse you. They tried to, it's all up opportunities, okay? Home, business, property. You know what I mean? This could be fraud as well, okay? They could have called you a witch because you have such power. You're backed by the divine. They could have said a whole bunch of shit. Gatekeeper, hmm. Thou shalt not pass. Okay. As a Allah, uh, what's his name? Gandalf said. <laughs> Envelope. There's um, Something's unfolding. People are going to be surprised. The truth is coming out. Luck and money. Coins. Okay. So they could have tr tried to get in the way of your spiritual inheritance. Or a real inheritance. Because that's been the theme lately. And they're going to find out the hard way. Who's going to grow old by themselves in sadness and destitution. I do. I remember telling one, um, one person I was dealing with one sad sack that, um, I tried warning him. Everything you take from me will be taken from you. And then some, you're going to be homeless living on the streets in destitution. You will be, that'll be part of your karma, not just for this lifetime, but for many more. I think they're finding out, uh oh. This is the truth. I think they're trying to get back into my energy. But that ain't going to happen either. Father says no. <laughs> anyway. They can't tell the truth to save their lives or souls. So you get what you get. Okay. And you got what you give in this life. I hate to tell you. They sicked a lot of people on me, saying all kinds of things about me that were untrue. And now it's time for me to divulge truths. Who's really behind it? Not me. I don't do magic. Don't need to. I have God. I have the angels here. I have my ancestors. I don't touch that shit. And I've been saying it for day one. Leave it alone. If you, you're thinking about doing don't do it. It's not going to end well. I'm able to prove what I say. They're not. So we have new beginnings, narcissist, and pearls. So they want to start over again. Social services, they got cut off. Wow. So they are looking for another stream of income. You're not going to forgive them. They've done the unforgivable. You've been loyal. They haven't been. Somebody's in their middle age, so they're growing old, okay? They have an image to uphold. Good for you. That's disgusting. You know, if you're middle-aged, you should be settling down. You should be 
uh, situated, you know, have money saved up, you're raising your kids, you, you've raised your kids, your grandkids, you shouldn't be out there fucking running the streets, okay? You're going to come in and love them. Something to do with travel. There's bad news. Somebody's being provoked or they're trying to provoke you. They're in pain. There's an investigation. Told you. You have integrity. They don't. Drama. It's going to cause a lot of drama because that's what they wanted. Okay? I'm only here to get mine. What I tell you? I tried to say you were into pornography or doctor some photos or videos or they're into it. Take it as applies. There's been accusations. What I tell you? Now they want to negotiate because they're getting it. They're getting it hit hard. Um, they could have involved other tarot readers. You could be a tarot reader. I know I am. One night stand. They could have accused you of this or that. The other thing, there's a cover up. So you come with love. You are love. You are very loved. And they're trying to compare themselves to you. And they're a fraud. Remember, comparison is the thief of joy. Okay? We're going to leave that. Oh, there's an eviction coming here. <laughs> Eviction and greed. You're a mystery to this people. They're jealous of you and they're so false. It's unbelievable. See, their falseness, you know, the truth rings differently. I keep saying that, right? You know it in your bones when you hear it. When you stand next to a narcissist and they keep making excuses and allegations, it's everybody else's fault. No accountability for anything. But yet, you see it, you hear truth. To, Oh, there's sirens back there. There's a truth teller next to them speaking the truth. And yeah, um, I take accountability for how I got involved with these people. Mm, and I regret it. And I, I exit it. But then I know this is part, it was part and parcel of where I needed to be. I didn't enjoy any, any of it. I don't have any good memories with this person. I used to get offended when I said that. <laughs> so I said to them, I said to him, I go, is any... You know, did you ever tell me any truths here? And he looked at me like a deer in headlights. He couldn't, he didn't know what to say. And after about five minutes of him looking dumb like that with his mouth open, I said, you could have at least said, well, I, I do love you. Because he lied about that too. If he really owed me, he would have said that. <laughs> but he's a narcissist. <sighs> what can you say? Hmm? Salave. Salave. So social services has cut them off. <laughs> Where else are you going to get maybe Maybe his supply is drying up. I mean, that's what's happening with these narcs nowadays, right? It's only getting worse. All their lives are being seen. Your, your sex is drying up. Your money's drying up. No one there to stroke and, 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 and you know, fluff up your egos. Male or female, doesn't matter. This is what's happening right now learn a very valuable lesson, right? Because these people are very codependent. They can never do it on their own. They try to try to make it look like they're very independent and, ah, oh, I don't want attachments. But they're attached. Try leaving a narcissist and see, okay? They are attached. That's why if they claim to be some sort of spiritual guru, but they have a, a supply of people around them, ah, think twice. message here please we have new beginnings zero and it's funny because this morning i saw zero 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 so it's a reset narcissist pearl social services in the reverse archangel michael just walked in hello archangel michael thank you for being here i love you too he sends his love yeah the hermit you have to be in isolation so somebody's being investigated for some reason or you went through all of these trials and tribulations all on your own. Not really. You had spirit with you. Yeah, two of coins at the bottom. I didn't I didn't even... Well, let's, let, let's cut the deck. But that came out. I think this is important. Especially since Archangel Michael just walked in when this kind of came out. You got through all of these hardships on your own. Like I said, not really. With, with spirit, Okay. You have a lot of wisdom. You have a direct connection with Source. He directs you. He directs you. He tells you what to do, when to do it, what to say. So somebody might be, I don't know, they're on their own, feeling sorry for themselves maybe too. That could be it as well. They're being investigated. Someone's shining a light on their duplicity. 
Liar, liar, pants on fire, queen of swords and rebirths. A real bitch, male or female, doesn't matter. Vengeance. Vindictive. You know what I mean? Hmm. If you don't like your work, are they... They don't like the fact that you have receipts and they don't. You have self-mastery. They don't. They're jealous. Oh, boy, that's a lot of jealousy here. You're shining a light on just how jealous they are. Yes, you are not a sword. So there's something's happening quickly. Fast communication, fast action. Could be the police investigating this, you know, what. Uh, there's past here. They want to reconcile with you. They're having nostalgic memories. Oh, how well they provided. How well, how much money I got. How they fluffed my ego. <laughs> Innocence here. Knight of Cups. They want to come in and give you a cup of love. They want to reconcile. <laughs> they're in a rush because they're running out of money. But they've been blocked, okay? Two of Wands in reverse. They've been blocked. They don't have a key come near you. Um, they want to rush right in. Or somebody else, one of their supply, <clears throat> their flying monkeys, is angry and jealous that they want to come back to you. Yeah, blocked. They can't come near you. Six of Swords. Um, somebody's in trouble. They can't escape this. They can't move on from this. They don't want you moving on, maybe. But that's not their decision. They are in trouble. Okay, there's a contract. Or a third-party situation they might have placed you in. And or you're using your higher wisdom. Um, and you made the right choices. They're trying to block a new um, higher level soulmate coming in. Take it as it applies. You made the right choices. So we have the Six of Swords in reverse. Oh, no, that's too many. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So somebody's trying to stop anybody from coming towards you. Ah, I see. That could be it, too. They look at you like property. You're theirs. Of course, narcissistic, right? Because you, they exploit you. They don't look at you like a human being. They, they can't be a human being. You could be stable, stable, secure, very grounded and successful here. Generous, uh, uh, stable and secure. Like I said, generous. They they want to be this. I think they don't want to let go of you. You made them look good. It's right on top of the Queen of Swords. That's why I know it's it's, it's false. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. It's false. You let them go. They don't want to let you go. Maybe you embarrassed and disgraced them. Like I heard, you're making me look like a fool. Oh well. Death. And reverse. They don't want something to end. It could be the death of an ego. They maybe they can't take you out. Maybe they tried. You're still standing. You're still strong. You're still abundant. Maybe they wanted this, right? Your gifts, your spiritual gifts, your money, your opportunities. You're dealing with opportunists. Using magic against you. Using lies and slander. Trying to ruin you. Every... Every good thing they're trying to remove from your life, well, they can't. I even heard not too long ago, that the ones I was dealing with, was trying to break my connection with Source. Ain't gonna happen. Imagine that karma. <laughs> Six of Swords in reverse, King of Pentacles in, in the upright. They're worried. They're really worried. They can't eat or sleep, okay? They're stressed. They're very burdened. They're getting intrusive thoughts. And that's spirit doing that, see? You, you bossed up. You took back your power. Could be a boss. Could be a father. But somebody's lying or you're not talking to them. There's no uh, no clarity upon the situation. They're trying to get info on you. I don't know who this emperor is. We'll see. Let's see. We have the nine of swords here. So they're really worried. They're stressed. This could be, I don't think that's you. I'm, I'm telling you. It could be you. You're, you're, they're aware that you keep, get, you know, you keep staying stable. Um, they shit talked you. Okay. They abused you emotionally, mentally, psychologically. You keep repairing your heart. Whatever they've thrown at you, you're, you're good. This is a blessing in disguise for you. They know that you are a true alchemist. I haven't seen it yet. But I'm feeling it. Whatever they threw at you, you used for your... Yeah, this is corruption. I told you. I knew it. I felt it. It wasn't... Eh. They don't... They want power and control over you. They want the, the kind of power that you have, okay? Um, and only you can get from the divine. They want to usurp it, I just heard. This is someone with a huge ego. 
power hungry, controlling, a tyrant, bending to public pressure. They don't give a shit about anybody but themselves. It's a narcissist. It's their image and what they can glom or gleam and, and, and own, right? And you put this down. You have no burdens. You let, you let it go. You went into the cycle with this person. They're angry. They're corrupt as well. So be careful. You, and I told you, you're an alchemist. You, 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 whatever they threw your way, you changed it for your, you know, for the best, for abundance, not just for you, but for everybody. You turned it into gold. You're golden. See that golden? Kind of reminds me of Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. Uh, what is it? A, 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 a stitch? What do they call it? That flying golden ball. I can't remember. Anyways. Emperor in reverse. Why is this here, please? Let me talk to mad shit about you. you. Yeah, you have power. You have control. You have new beginnings here. Okay, this is beautiful. You have a um, new passion. You're taking action or somebody's going to be taking action against them. You let them go. Eight of swords in reverse. You release them. Yep. You made accusations about you or they're going to be released from somewhere. It could be different people. Somebody's releasing someone, okay? They know that they were fucking crazy here, I just heard. Yep. They're not spending time in your head and this is what's killing this narcissist. You have to pine over them, but they're pining over you. It's the opposite. That's how spirit works. That's how the divine works, right? Oh, that's why you're here, Archangel Michael. I get it. Thank you. <laughs> he goes, bingo. That's not your vernacular. Um, you're not fighting with this person. They made accusations against you. They are open to spiritual attack uh, or attack from others, okay? They didn't defend you fight for you, they didn't fight for whatever this is, when you let them go, maybe, um, they certainly didn't defend your honor, you're not fighting for this person, you don't want this person back, they're beneath you, but people are seeing, they're feeling defeated and overwhelmed here, okay, they're losing money, of course, they got cut, they never tell anybody they're on social services either, because money's drying up, okay, but uh, they're run running out of opportunities, money, they're in debt, they can't hold on much longer. They don't know what to do. They're trying to, they've been blocked. All avenues have been blocked. They don't know what to do. They're in denial. Uh, they're acting like a victim, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Their friends are blocking them and or a coven has blocked them. They don't know what to do. They're acting like, oh, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. Yeah, okay. The the, vic the victimizer is acting like a victim now, okay? Um... I don't know what's going on with my money. Um, yeah, you did some stop money spells, whoever this is, and it, it's back in their backyard. Like I said, it's every everything they, they valued is drying up. They can't hold on to it. It's all been a lie. Okay, so if they got any money, yeah, here's Archangel Michael, that beautiful angel. So this could be the law as well, law and order. Some truths are being seen and spoken. Oh, yes. <laughs> They're trying to block you from speaking your truth or speaking to the police, uh, the authorities, uh, because you are bringing clarity to a situation. Seven of Cups in reverse. There's no more confusion here. Okay. All that glitters is not gold. Uh, they're running out of options and they don't have a choice. Oh, boy. Everything's drying up. Not a wants. It's a randy dandy. Right? Play, player, player. Male or female, doesn't matter. In and out of relationships, very flighty. Don't care about anybody but their loins. And ego. They think the more they bed, the, the more sought after they are. Really? No, you're just a slut. Just a whore. Probably diseased at this point. <laughs> so somebody did something too impulsively, maybe. Somebody's going to be taking some action now. See, I do know that Archangel Michael has a bone to pick for a few people in my life. They sat there and mocked him in front of me and in front of him. So, I could take him in a fight. <laughs> One had the nerve to say that. Archangel Michael literally put his fist in this person's mouth and flapped his gums like this because he was flapping his gums. And he looked shocked and scared and he ran. Uh, the other one, well, he bashed over the head with a, a uh, chin-up bar for not being nice to me. 
<laughs> I'm not lying when I say I work very closely with him. He, he closely works with me. He, he watches over me. This is the truth. They wanted to steal your inheritance, what I tell you, and or they're losing everything, long-term stability, security, relations, not that they had relations, they're a narcissist, but you know, ties, but the, you had some money coming in, I, this person, I believe, um, I haven't seen it yet, but got out some life insurance on people, okay, this was a scammer, this is spiritual jail, all right, he's under judgment, or she, um, this is financial ruin. They want to come back in from out of the cold. Out of coins. They're running out of money. This person is so unfaithful. You can't trust this person. Irresponsible. Immature. You can't rely on them. You can't depend upon this person. They're lazy. Okay? You cannot trust this person. And you know what? Their days of using people, abusing people are over. No integrity, loyalty, or honesty. Not going to make it to the finish line. Okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, five of Pentacles in reverse. They're mourning. They're they're moping. Right? Now they can't get their eyes off you because whatever love spells they've been set, uh, that's the other thing. They've been doing come uh come to me spells, love spells, trying to get you back, okay? Whatever love spells they've been doing, it's gone right back to them. That's why they're so obsessed with you. Okay. Plus it's a challenge to them, they're narcissists. How dare you? Right? So they're ignoring their supply. Maybe that's why the supply is drying up. They went, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're, my, they're flying monkeys. Anyways, they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're out in the cold. They're watching you rise. They know that you were the Holy Grail and they shot on you. There's truth and clarity to that. They'll, eh, elimination. Yeah. Now they're scared. They didn't treat you very well, did they? Strength and reverse. They had no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They can't come correct towards you. You know that. You... This is source, okay? You're being watched over by the divine. Everybody knows they're a liar, okay? They're trying to get information. They're trying to find something out about you. Maybe so they can overpower you. Nah, it's not going to happen. There's no communication, okay? They could be scared at the moment. They've been humbled. They've been sat down real hard, real hard, I say. Pop those ass pimples. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> There's a boil. Somebody's got a boil. Take care of that. They're feeling for, sorry for themselves. Everybody's knowing the, the light's being shined on their duplicity. Um, page of coins. You could be doing doing tarot, watching tarot, and or this is you starting new, starting anew. Or they have to make a payment to somebody and they can't. They're in debt. But somebody's gathering some information. They're trying to gather some information. And what they're gathering scares them, the information they're gathering. It's an empty victory, that's why. Uh, that or you're bringing out this information one way or another, maybe through tarot, maybe not in a different way. And everybody's seeing, okay, that this was all jealousy, ego, pettiness, and cruelty, and that they abused you. And everybody that did this with them are all taking on losses. So I guess maybe they're all finding this out, everybody that went in it with them. Okay? They're afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah, they scapegoated you. You can't make it up. It's a family and or a group. They're all going down. Or both. Okay? Because with this inheritance thing, there's a lot of people involved. Okay? This is not happily ever after. This is fail. This is a defeat. Empty victory. Not going anywhere. What'd you win? Chaos. That's what you won. Right? Chaos. Thought you were so smart. What'd you win? Nobody around you. You're alone. Right? Everything you threw towards your target went back to you. It's all being seen for what it is. Bullshit. Lies. Abuse. Ego. Because the one you targeted, standing, they're standing tall, male or female. Okay? They're standing in their power. They're independent. They go their own way. They're very protected, confident, and sure, and bold. They are a warrior. Do you understand? They attract. They don't have to finagle. They don't have to do magic. They attract. They're blessed. Okay? They stay on the straight and narrow. They don't lie. 
You don't have to. Yeah, so this person, you, whoever, was scapegoated. Somebody ain't happy. Five of Swords in the Upright, Ten of Cups. Yeah. You could be going into a, a new relationship or a new partnership somewhere, and it's going to be true love, new love, true love, okay? This is usually new love. Nobody from your past. And you're stable and secure, okay? Queen of Wands, male or female, doesn't matter. You, you have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You know your worth and value. You're not going to fuck around with these assholes anymore. Not that you wanted to, but it was all part and parcel of where you need to be. It, this, it, honestly, I hate to say it, but it's true because it does cause a lot of pain. And we always think, well, and I've said it to my, I've said it to my spirit. Yeah, I could have done without it, but I needed to go through what I needed to go through to get me where I need to go. I mean, it's a big, bigger picture, okay? It's not just my feelings that are involved here. It's a bigger picture, and that's what I'm picking up here, okay? You wouldn't meet your one and only if you hadn't gone through this. And I know you're going to say, I didn't need to go through that. I don't want my one and only, but wait till you meet that one and only, okay? Yeah, now they're going through a dark night of the soul. <laughs> because you're going towards this, okay? But this can also be self-love as well. They could be unhappy here. They're remembering the days they were with you. And you, they, they're remembering that you gave them a lot of love, okay? And they're going through it, okay? They want to maybe come towards you because you're stable and secure. It's not love. And you know it. You know love when you see it, when you feel it, when you're around it. And they're not love. You're a wish fulfillment. You're coming into your wish fulfillment, by the way. Because you're being, um, I just heard exalted, but you're also being blessed by the divine for what you've gone through. And it's not because you took on losses. It's because you did your job. Okay? Your third eye's lit too. Okay? You are independent, abundant. Everything th everything you touch turns to gold. You're a healer. Okay? You bring healing to the world. To wherever you are, whatever you do. You're very... You make it look easy and people don't like it. The truth is coming out. What I tell you? Moon, moon in reverse. The truth is coming out about you and what was done behind your back and all that was said, all the shit that was said about you. I just heard, thank you, Archangel Michael, um, there's going to be a card reader, a tarot reader that's going to come out with some truths about you. Some of, This person could have contacted a tarot reader to, to get information about you and or to ask them to do magic on you. So this tarot reader is going to come out and tell the truth. You're innocent. There's going to be an apology, maybe from this tarot reader. I don't know. You are innocent, though. Okay? So people are going to come and take ownership uh, as to the role they they played. They want to because they see the truth. They now see the truth. I don't think some of these I, some of these people were bad. Okay? I'm, I'm not going to lie. But the other people that got hoodwinked, um, they're not bad people. Okay? They thought they were doing the right thing or I don't know. I'm not saying magic's the right thing, but... In, in re repeating gossip and turning their backs on you, you know what I mean? I, they didn't. They thought they were doing the right thing. They thought that those lies were true. So many people were saying it must be true, but you got to be careful with gossip. Do your own homework, people. Use your criti critical thinking skills. Okay. If it's somebody you already have a relationship with, whether, whether it's love, friends, family, go talk to that person. Ask them what's up. I'm hearing this these stories. What's going on? Do you understand what I'm saying? What does this... Think about it. The person telling these stories, what what do they have to gain? Bet you any money. It's money. Jealousy. A relationship. You know? Okay. It's always those things. It's never anything else. Why they lie about somebody that's kind and good. and had, The people that heard these stories that had relations with this person, with you. They never saw you do anything wrong, say anything wrong, hurt anyone. So they had no um, examples to give. Some of them just threw in willy-nilly, whatever, false stories about you just to join in on the hate train. But the rest of them can honestly say, I've never seen or heard this person do anything untoward. But good. But be kind and loving and generous. So we have the Page of Cups here. Yeah. Justice is here. Congratulations. 
they're weighing, they're balancing the scales here. You have a decision to make, or somebody has a decision to make. It could be in a court of law. Like I said, there could be an investigation tied into this because they stole this inheritance, or they tried to. They tried to maybe in, say that you're crazy, that you're homeless, that you're a drug addict and a drunk, that you are a whore. You're, you're selling your body on the streets and they haven't spoken to you in years, but yet they just spoke to you. They see you online. You know what I mean? And when they do speak to you, they act like nothing's happening. Oh, I love you. Love you. Not I love you, but it's love you. I'm so worried about you. I haven't talked to you in a while. How's, how's things going? And meanwhile, they're saying that they've not talked to you, that you're a whore, that you're a drug addict, that you're dead. Maybe. You know what I mean? Making up stories about you. Now, I keep picking up lately about a safety deposit box in a bank or somewhere or a mailbox that somebody stole a key for. Um, so that has something to do with it as well. Okay. Yeah. Work. Working here. Somebody's a master of their craft. You have a decision to make it work. For work. You might get an offer of work here. Somebody's got some information here. There's an investigation. So somebody who's working hard on this investigation, they have a decision to make. Um, somebody's working online. So you could be working online. There we go. But there is an investigation going on. Seen through the illusions. Okay, devil in reverse. You're not toxic. You don't have codependency issues. All the lies said about you were exactly what that. Lies, slander. You're an upstanding person here, male or female. You are a leader. Spiritual or, I mean, I'm picking up spiritual. You do the right thing. You, are, you do the noble thing. You have honor. You have uh, morals and ethics. And you protect and defend people. You're very innovative and creative and bold, just like the Queen of Wands in the upright. So this could be a counterpart and or this is still you, okay? You're seeing the truth here. You detach from these people for a reason and you're single, abundant, independent, self-sufficient, stable, and secure. You are an entrepreneur, okay? You're minding your own business in your own garden, very independent of them. If they tried to say that you couldn't make it on your own and they had to pay your way and they're always getting you out of trouble, well, what's the story now? They're in trouble. They can't pay their way. But yeah, you're doing very great. You're doing beautifully. People are seeing it for what it is, right? Lies, lies, lies. Yeah, they don't want the gravy train to end or something here, okay? They were making money off of you. They tried to take you out, maybe. So they could be self-sufficient too, but that's not self-sufficiency. That's just criminal. This has been going on long enough. Um, I agree. This is a profound and permanent ending for someone. They didn't want to stop. They didn't want to change. They're not willing to change. They're paranoid here, you know, or maybe they can't change people's minds anymore about you. You overcame and persevered and you put up, you shored up some very firm boundaries. Okay. Thou shall not cross as Gandalf said. Um, You don't want things to change. They're paranoid. But you overcame and you stayed emotionally balanced while whilst doing it. And still loving. You led with an open heart all the time. They wanted you to close your heart chakra. Or they wanted to block your heart chakra and your, your third eye, your intuition, your crown chakra. We saw that earlier, right? They wanted to stop your connection, with, with cut it off with source. That's not going to happen. They're paranoid now. Okay, they wanted to end you as well. We saw murder, right? Yeah, this person is not of the faith. They try to make you look like you're not of the faith, that you're, you know, going for the other side. I don't fucking think so. Um, there's a divorce or separation, a false contract. I don't know. Somebody has no faith, okay? They are a dark priest or priestess doing energy manipulation on you. Just because you're spiritual doesn't mean you fuck around with this stuff, okay? People get, get that out of your head. You know, and I find, and I'm not centering any one particular group out, but I find a lot of those people that, because they've been really coming at me, um, spout out, you know, the, the Bible and Bible verses and blah, blah, blah. I find those are the ones usually doing this, okay? They're very ruthless and malicious, okay? They could be in their feelings and drinking at the moment, but they didn't give two shits about you. Yeah, their whole world's falling apart. Tower in reverse. It's all coming down, never to be revisited again, okay? Because you're exposing them. You're out in the public eye. 
they could have said some stuff about you in court on public record about you to keep it going right the continuation of this so they keep making money off your money and you don't you don't get your money you don't know what's going on in the background because everybody stopped talking to you because they lied about you draining money okay this money is supposed to be for you they don't get it okay they know that they're not going to get this money but whomever's doing this doesn't want you to get it either. So they think, I'm going to keep it up and keep doing this in a court of law, draining the money. A lot of time has been used, used up, okay? Their time is up here. Their mask has slipped off. They're going to be stuck here struggling. They wanted you stuck and struggling. But you walked away from all of it. You walked away from them, but the whole thing. See, that's octopus, right? All the different cups are, they had tentacles. That is a fucking narcissist. Once you get with a narcissist, that's what happens. Hmm. They want their tentacles on you and they, 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 they're not going to let you go, but you walked away. You listen to your intuition. That's the moon. You're highly intuitive. And you're going towards your ninth and tenth cup, your happiness, your wish fulfillment. They're going towards the darkness because they did do magic on you. They did shit talk you. Okay. And you knew it. Secrets are now coming out. They're, they were greedy and selfish. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Right? Yep. Harvesting off of you, your energy, your money, your time, your essence. No, 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 no. There's proof and evidence here. Now they're going to be stopped, out of control. Hmm. Ain't going to be happening, okay? They got to balance this out now. You t you're too balanced and in alignment, okay? They were playing games with your money. They were um, playing fast and loose with your money and with other people if this is an ex or anything like that. A lot of lies, illusions, no communication. People are turning their backs here. Everybody knows they're a liar. They're grieving and regretting now, crying over spilt milk because their whole world is turning upside down. They don't want this to end, but it's coming out. It's catching up to them, okay? They kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior, didn't want to learn a lesson, didn't want to stop. That is no... They want to keep the cycle going. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Poor me, poor me. It's catching up to them, okay? Not a coin. So you've been stopped. Nobody trusts this fool or these fools, okay? Yeah, they tried to say you were crazy. You had addictions. They went to extremes. Inappropriate behavior, okay? There's no new beginnings. There's no conflict re resolutions. There will be no reconciliation here. They have the addictions, okay? They could be sick and unstable right now. They spread a lot of egregious gossip about you. They tried to destabilize you. They're a fallen angel dealing with covens, spreading gossip about you. People are parting ways. They're running. Okay? Running for cover. They want forg uh, forgiveness. Okay, that came out. Where'd that come from? They're praying here, okay? <laughs> they know you are in your north mode. You are highly protected, okay? You do bring balance to the world you do heal you are a healer you are healthy if they tried to say you're not you are quite healthy you are wish fulfillment somebody's praying here yeah because they try to devalue an empress this is chaotic energy they want a power power of attorney over you that was the greatest wish let me live off this power of attorney keep it going keep it going let's devalue this empress or emperor okay no it's not gonna happen while they juggle you while they play with you play you for a fool you know what I mean? Ain't gonna happen. They're the fool. Yep. Judgment. They're under judgment. I told you they're under divine judgment. They're losing everything they coveted and valued over you. There's illumination here. They have to take accountability. Oh no, they don't want to. They gotta bring this. They have to correct this here. They want a second chance? I don't think so. They were plotting and planning. It was all plotted and planned. To lie about you. They threw rocks and hit hands. This is bad news, right? They wanted to harm you physically as well. Yeah, you left them though before they could do that. And or this could be a family friend, whatever. Okay, they got a lot of people involved. They're hitting, uh, they're hitting um, rock bottom here. Okay, this is very painful for a narcissist, for their mask to be ripped off. Yeah, they're a karmic. Okay, this is a false contract. You're everybody's parting ways, or you parted ways with this karmic. You're not going back. They made some. Poor decisions. Maybe they chose a karmic over you as well. Oh, something to do with home, property, stability, a family. It could be a karmic family. You part of ways with this family. And you're doing really you're doing very well. Wish fulfillment. They were greedy and selfish. They stole home property, a business, started a business, and it's going down. This is they defrauded you, okay? They 
breadcrumbs you used and abused you. I hate to say it. Wasn't equally yoked. Played you for a fool. Dare the fool. Okay, because you're innocent. You took a big leap of faith here. You took a leap of faith and maybe started a tarot channel. Okay, you found a creative way to speak your truth and people are paying attention. Okay, because like I said, when you hear the truth, you know it's the truth. Okay? Somebody's trying to ride out on your coattails. They were line cheating and or stealing. Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. It's all that it's been stopped here. It's a backfire. Ooh, boy, they're scared. They're sick. This is a scandal. Everything's stopping. No communication. No move, movement forward. Or this is what they did to you. Just making you look like you're crazy. You're sick. You're dying. I don't know. I think there's a lot of people here. They were very greedy. This is material wealth they were after, okay? They put a lot of burdens on your back. Now they're burdened here. They're trying to prove a point. I think the court said to them, okay, give me more proof. <laughs> I think the, the courts did their own homework, found your wherever you are, and they know the truth. So there's going to be one final, if it hasn't happened already, false contract, parting a ways with a uh, third party or a collaboration. Somebody who's very lazy, don't want to put the work in, and disrespectful. They left you on, their, on your own to have to deal and fight through all of this. They're going to be left on their own. Yeah, this black magic. They called you a whore. Five of wands, right? They played mind games with you. They did magic on you, and then they gaslit you. The whole kit and caboodle all at once to make you look crazy, to try to make you go there. Act crazy, look crazy, and then they filmed you or tape recorded you. Now they're all fighting, and the chaos is in their backyard. You're standing strong. <laughs> Yeah, they're all fighting and finger pointing, blaming one another. How could you do this? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, they're getting their karma. Everything's drying up in their world. Oh, well, because their magic and their their duplicity, the deception, the manipulations, right? Corruption, the illusions. They were two-faced with you, and now they're losing money. What they coveted, they're in debt. They're losing money. They're unstable. Whatever they did here was unfair. Uh, it wasn't right. They can no longer play games with you or anybody. New beginnings. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. A lot of untruths here, okay? Somebody played the fool or tried to play you for a fool. This ain't going to happen. A lot of lies here, okay? It's all being seen. So it's the narcissist. That's what they do. They do best. Lie, right? Put on big shows, right? That's what they do. An air sign. Gemini, Gemini Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be. <clears throat> um, and it doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be also, you know, if you're in your north node, or it could be anything. South node, even. Um, peacock. They try to get you in your south node, I just heard. Well, it's not going to happen. Pregnancy and wealth. Somebody that makes money off of pregnancies or... I don't know. Just a peacock wants to show off. Maybe that's who they left you for. Pearl, hidden gem. You're always hidden in plain sight. Okay, you're you have pearls of wisdom here. A lot was hidden behind your back, unfortunately, and they got cut off at of social services, or they said you were so social services. You're just a blight on society. You just a taker. No. You're providing for yourself. You don't have to go on social services. Thank you. Um, I mean, maybe they think now because of this, they're unforgiven. I think you've forgiven them. And the truest, truest sense of the word forgive, forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. But they would never forgive you if you did this. You're unforgivable, right? That's how you know a person. If they're un unable to forgive people that do the slightest things to them, like mistakes or you know maybe they acted out once and you know they said i'm sorry i won't do that again but yet they won't that's a narcissist they won't let go see how they treated me you know they're always the victim um well you got your answer there <laughs> they would never forgive you if you did any of this they could be in debt to social services and it's not a going to be a debt that's going to be forgiven so they can never go back on uh, social services. I don't know. Take it to the class. 
or they could have used your name. The, you know what I'm picking up? They didn't just steal your inheritance and or life insurance or whatever this is. They did take life insurance out. They were planning on getting rid of you to make a lot of money off of you, okay? But they also took your ID. This is fraud and, and ran up bills in certain places. Could be social services, trying to make you look like you're the loser. So if the courts look and see if you're on social services, you are, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's a ruse. Uh, it's being found out, okay? You're getting a lot of uh, phone calls from different numbers, from creditors, credit collectors, and you, you're not in debt. Like, I'm not in debt, but I keep getting these creditors calling my phone. <laughs> um, you might want to look into it. There is an investigation going on. So how are we ending the read, please, Spirit? Where are we going with this? This energy is not to my liking. I don't like it. I'm done with this energy. And it's just, uh, you know, it's your ex involved, your family, and your friends. There are differences here at 36. So there's an investigation for sure. It's a hermit. And picking up, somebody tried to impersonate you. They, If they did do get you in trouble with social services, well, they probably got some fake ID going in as you, and you're nothing like this person. They're doing their homework, okay? It's the government. They're going to do that. It's the, it's the courts. They're going to do that. 21, it's over. They found you online, maybe. And they're going, what the fuck? You're peaceful. You're kind. You're serene. You know, you're in your own little world, not, not bothering anybody. This is endings. You're ending these cycles in order to begin new ones. Congratulations, okay? You have a lot of confidence, too. Congratulations. You're using your higher wisdom. That's lovers. Lovers has always been a card about choice. And consequences, whether it's in the upright or in the reverse, someone's going to get hurt in here. <laughs> you could be going towards a, a higher level soulmate connection now. They put you in a third party situation and I don't know. It could be years since you've spoken to them, seen them. They still hung up on you and they got their karmics hung up on you. Yeah, differences, choices. They chose what they chose, okay? 46, fate and destiny. Well, that wheel's turning in your favor, not theirs. Invisible. You're not even paying them attention. That's what I'm hearing. They want your attention so very badly because they're narcissistic. And because they're not getting your energy, your attention, it's they're self-imploding. It's a tower moment, okay? They tried to be you, okay? They were doing all kinds of magic on you, but it doesn't take. It's all in their backyard now. But they're getting a lot of sh uh, kickback from all the magic, all the lies, all the everything they've done. It's, it's right there coming to them all at once. That's how the divine works. Isn't it great? One and six is seven. It's, it could be the authorities coming. They're trying to hide from the authorities or from people. Um, that's the chariot, right? You're moving on, leaving them behind. This is bringing back balance, okay? Radical acceptance and accountability. And they're trying to hide everything they've done. Hey, you can't, okay? Like in my case, I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep shining that light. It's a little out of mine. <laughs> so if I'm a whore sell my ass on the streets if I'm a drug addict and a drunk I'm here almost every day what's that say am I um, in relationships am I homeless no I'm very consistent I'm here every day for two years plus so that goes same with you the, spe the truth speaks volumes okay so differences as your goddess I've seen many things since the beginning of time. Know that the intricate differences between all beings are sacred and good. You must learn to accept that others are not the same as you. It's important to allow others to express their own opinions. Consider the difference between an orange and an apple. Both are fruit, but they are different kinds. Is one more valuable than the other? I think not. All creatures, all beings have a right to their uniqueness. Try to see and hear the other person's side if you can. So they condemned you because you're not like the others. And they don't, you're not following what everybody else is doing, chasing, chasing, chasing things that are elusive in this world. You're calm, you're at peace, you're kind. You don't have things that you're hiding like me, you know what I mean? You're open. You're an open book. You have nothing to hide. They don't like that. 21. I have nothing to hide. 
People can come here. They can study me every day. You're going to get the same person. I have nothing to hide. So Grove, now's the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed. Make your friendships whole again and choose healing over anger and pain. Choosing my beautiful Grove is a powerful sign that you are at a wondrous and strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one's perfect yet. Imperfection is perfect as it is. If you're hurting, know that it will pass and that I watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. So I think a lot of people are going to see the error of their ways and they're going to come in and ask for forgiveness. And you are a forgiving soul. Um, it's, a, it's a lesson for everyone. Okay? In humility, in not jumping on band, bandwagons, in not repeating gossip, not believing everything you hear, um, not persecuting a person without proof. And there's been proof, but it was doctored. Okay. You got to do your homework. You got to listen to your heart. It's going to be a lot of that lately. In the next little while, a lot of people have been persecuted. Okay. Uh, condemned, um, crucified by the public, by the, their communities. And they haven't done a damn thing. They've brought only good to uh you know your relationship to your family to your community and um because of these evil people who are trying to destroy all good in this world they come after you okay use your your inner um compass which is your intuition okay so confidence there's one such immortal being who has kept this oracle safe in a castle in the isle of sky to be given to you when the time is right this time is now this is your time the world needs you much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive my gifts know that i have chosen you and that you have everything you need to make the right decision walk with your head held high and take the next step towards your goal with confidence i will be with you every step of the way choices 46 do you know the story of a winged immortal in the house of night who had to choose between the dark and the light do you know what he chose right now you're faced with such a choice all you need to do is ask is this for the highest good the choice you make will be an important step in your life lessons remember even not deciding is a choice what will it be Choose another card to know <laughs> to show you what your choice will bring you so it's invisible 16 it's, it's going to bring you a tower okay if you go that route You're invisible know that not everyone has the ability to recognize you fully and that perhaps they are so caught up in their own stories that they can't see you that's exactly what we're talking about right it's okay because those who can see you are the important companions on your path to finding your magic another meaning for the symbol you have chosen is that circumstances may require you to step back and remain in the shadows now is not the time for you to tell all and show everyone your truth. Being invisible protects you from harm right now so that you can observe your surroundings without being vulnerable. Stay hidden and watch what others do before acting. Denial. They're denying that you're um, higher, um, that you're high-ranking being, okay? Um, that's the temperance angel, pardon me. It also adds to a five, a hierophant. So they don't want to believe that right they will, and if they do finally believe it and you got a lot of spiritual gifts here and a lot of loyalty wow if they they now see it they want to get close to you they think that they can have you at at you know at hand and no they had to prove their loyalty to you and this was a test a test of faith a test of loyalty a true test it elevated you 33 you could be dealing with Master Masons, um, you know, social groups and or covens and or friend groups, but you've elevated. Certainly some haven't. They think they can just have access to you and they can't. And that's to their demise because they really, they really could have, okay? They could have had access to you. They could have had a beautiful future with you, whether it's a friend, love, fr uh, family, and they chose to do this to you. And I think it's all, okay? I think it's everybody in your surroundings. They all got bought off and or um, lied to so very badly. And they put spell work on these people as well. So they'd be more amenable, including the court officials. So, yeah, Page of Swords, this investigation. You could be online. They're watching you. They want to shut you up. 
and or they can, they know they can't speak to you they know that you are not speaking to them 12 they're stuck they wanted you str struggling but they don't want to let go of you god the refuge refuge governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals so the truth is coming out possibly online or there's an investigation they're under surveillance ha ha yeah the tower uriel <laughs> and he is here okay he's been here the last little while if you notice how i might you know my mood is a little different he's been rubbing off on me okay so yes the, the angels do tend to sometimes speak through me <laughs> but uriel's here the fire of god it's a tower False foundations, okay? It's coming down. Disruption, warns of disasters, aids in transformation. It's going to change everything. It's going to redirect you. Ace of Wands, new beginnings, okay? You're being crowned. Beautiful. Three, okay? It boils down to a three. Omael, this is a divine feminine, a mother. Male or female, okay? You could be a male in this energy as well. You're creating new life. You're a humanitarian. You're, you have unlimited amounts of love, okay? You're here to help. Fertility and multiplicity protects against despair, helps one be patient. Boy, oh boy, I could use that. <laughs> this new, this is a new passionate opportunities, new beginnings, growth and expansion in your world. You help, you hold the power, and they wanted that you hold the power. The divine is giving you this power. This is source, the sun, extreme happiness. You're healthy, wealthy, well, uh, happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is they're being exposed. The truth here, okay, and nothing but the truth. Sixty four is ten is the wheel of fortune. It is faded, okay? The vivifying God, restoration of life, protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, stability. Mebahia, 55. Could be your age. Um, 55 is a, a number that suggests change, okay? Get ready for the unexpected. The eternal God is another 10. It's the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensation. So you're going to be compensated for everything you've gone through. Okay, you get ready. You're gonna get some good news here. Page of Wands. Okay, twenty-seven. That's a nine. Again, Hermit. Um, investigation. The preventing God. So he kept you isolated to prevent whatever it is they were trying to do to you. Propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders, saves from enemies. Congratulations. You can move on. You're turning your back on this. Your ships are coming in. You're expanding your horizons at three. Divine feminine yet again. Male or female, doesn't matter. But you're moving forward, okay? You're not looking back. The God of hope. Construction of the universe help, helps with great works. Protection from adversaries, okay? They were plotting and planning against you. Bringing back balance. Six of pentacles against the devil. Wow. They were doing business with the devil. They were plotting and planning and doing business with the devil. Giving and receiving with the devil. Well, you're going to have to, yeah, against a star. Wow. For the Wheel of Fortune. A star that's in their, their, <laughs> in their um, north node on their path. Bunch of bozos, boneheads. Okay. Let's get a roast. Let's roast them from the universe. 107.57 when I say that. Oh, boy, that came out fast. They're trolling you. Okay. What else? So troll, how, how how droll is it, troll? Because <laughs> we're all going to have the last laugh, not you. You know what they say about he who laughs first. Save the last, last for me. So you're dealing with a narcissist. They just can't help themselves, I heard. And you're going to have to. You're going to be sat down real hard, narcissist. <laughs> I don't know why they bother with anybody else, you know, for sex or love. They just love on themselves. Like, you know what I mean? They think they're so perfect. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> land back. They don't want to give you your land back, your property, your 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 home, whatever. You're a star seed, and they're jealous. Again, that keeps popping out. That's where you go, and that's how the divine is going to compensate you to the moon to the moon alice that's what i just heard um take it as applies you don't have to be a billionaire but you can feel like one okay they were glomming off you they were really really trying to dry up whatever this money is your energy they're a cult leader okay you're doing magic. They were maybe in, in getting cult leaders involved take it as applies or they tried to say you're one i don't know 
There's a lot of lies, okay? A lot of fucking bullshit that don't make sense at the end of the day. When you look back and look at it, you're the only one that's constant, steady. You haven't deviated from your life. You haven't done anything. You don't have a criminal records. They do. You don't have addictions. They do. You don't have money problems. They do. You're not on social assistance. They mostly are. I don't know. Does it make any sense? And I'm not putting down people that are on social assistance. I've been on it in the past. I had to. But it's not a, a means to an end. You don't sit on it for the rest of your life and show your kids that's how you, that's how you live. It's meant to help you get through some hardships until you get back on your feet. And thank God they're there for that. It's not meant to live on. That's just my opinion. You can, you know, say what you want. You can say what you want in the comment section. That's just my opinion. And I'm, I'm entitled to that. Um, yes, the divine has given us all the ability, the tools to make it on our own. We don't need help from the government. We don't need to steal. We don't need to take what's not ours. Okay? We can build it for ourselves. And when you build it for yourself, that's when it's permanent. When you take it from others, that's when it's going bye-bye, like these people. Okay? Hope you liked the read. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.